Let's learn how to set up and program Node MCU ESP8266 using Arduino IDE. We will explore first how to connect Node MCU to computer, then making sure the device detect into the computer, then we will install ESP8266 packages into Arduino software, and finally we will upload Arduino code and blink an LED. The micro USB part I'm going to connect to the Node MCU like this, and the type A part of the USB cable I'm going to connect to my laptop's USB port, right? Now, it's a little bit tricky here to connect, but now it's connected. So once we connect Node MCU, that means ESP8266 to our computer, we have to search a device manager on our Windows machine because we have to confirm whether the Node MCU is detected by our laptop properly or not so we have to open device manager and then we have to expand the ports section and there you can able to see there is a silicon labs driver which says the node mcu is detected with a com3 so that means our board is working fine and our laptop is able to detect the node mcu and now we can able to write the arduino code and we can upload into node mcu so we can close this device manager and we have to open the Arduino IDE. Now we have to install the Node MCU ESP8266 specific packages so that we can able to program the Node MCU using Arduino software. Now for that we have to head over to the Google and we have to search. Uh, we have to search for Arduino Node MCU ESP8266 and then GitHub and then we will be presented with uh, a url so it's like a github url the first one itself so click on that and i can close this and you can see under this github page uh, there is a special section which says installing with board manager so here we have given all the instruction what to do and you can able to see it's written here we have to install the arduino ide then we have to open the preferences so we have to copy this url okay and once we copy this url so make sure you copy properly okay and then head over to your arduino ide then go to file and go to preferences and you can see there is something that says additional board manager url and this is where you have to paste the url and then click on OK. Then you have to head over to the tools section and then you have to go to board and under boards you can able to see boards manager. And under the boards manager we have to open and we have to search for uh, ESP8266 and then hit OK. And then you can able to see there are packages which says ESP8266 by ESP8266 community. And then here you have an install button. So you can click on install. And this will start installing all the boards um, that our Arduino can able to program. So it will take maybe a couple of minutes. And once the installation is done, then we can able to find the node mcu esp8266 board under the tools and the board section so that we can able to write a code and program our node mcu esp8266 so once the installation is done we can click on close okay then we have to save the file because we will be programming the node mcu so just go to file and say save as and i will select the location as a desktop and i will give it a name as a test and then say save uh, the code is saved now the program is saved if you want you can just confirm okay here you can see there is a test folder and then to write a code in a set of function I'm just going to blink the LED so I'm going to write pin mode and we have a built-in onboard LED which is connected to D4 pin so I'm going to say output and then under the loop function we have to say digital right we're just blinking an led so just say hi and then give the delay of one second so that would be a thousand milliseconds and uh, then i'm just doing the magic of copy and paste which will certainly save the time and then i would have to 
turn off the LED. So this basically um, initialize the D4 pin on node MCU where the LED is connected on the board itself. We don't have to connect external because there's on onboard LED. Then we will turn on the LED by saying D4 to become in high, then wait for one second and then say digital write to become low and then wait for one second and this code will execute in the loop function and over and over again and that basically end up blinking an LED onto the node MCU. Now before we compile and upload the code we have to go to tools and then we have to go to board section now you can see under the boards you have ESP8266 boards and you have to scroll down till you see node MCU 1.0 so here we have a node MCU 1.0 ESP12 E module that we have to select. Then we have to go to tools again and under the ports if you remember in a device manager we have seen node MCU is detected as a COM3 so we have to select COM3 and then we can able to see in a top left corner there is a right arrow key so if you hover over your mouse it says upload so when you click on the upload button then you can see in a lower right corner the progress has been shown to upload the code and then in the lower left corner you can able to see it says compiling sketch if you want you can make this a little bit bigger to see what's going on and you can able to see here in a lower left corner keep watching first it compile the code and then it will going to upload the code so this will take certainly few seconds or few minutes depends if it's a first program then it might take some more time so you see it is uploading into the chip and you will see on the board there is an LED which is kind of flickering a little bit uh, that's basically shows us that the programming is going on and in a lower left corner you can able to see it says done uploading and our LED starts blinking with one second of the delay which is an onboard LED we don't need basically to connect an external LED but even if you want to uh, connect an external LED then take the longer leg of the LED connect to the D4 pin and the shorter leg of the LED you must connect to the ground pin on the node MCU board itself and then you can able to see your LED external and internal both LED starts blinking with one second of delay I hope you have found this video educational and entertaining. If you want to learn more about Node MCU and ESP8266 to use it in your IoT Internet of Things projects, then check the link in the video description and I have given all the relevant link and the playlist for learning more about Node MCU and ESP8266 for building a really cool IoT projects. Thank you very much for your time and see you into the next video. Bye bye for now.